Hey everybody, it's Natasha from natashaskitchen.com and with everybody being cooped up at home, it is a great time to master your pizza skills. I'm sharing all of our secrets to our family's favorite pizza dough. It takes just a few simple ingredients to make a restaurant quality pizza dough that is chewy and crisp. And I'm hungry, so let's get started. To make the pizza dough, you'll need one and a fourth cups of warm water, not hot. Make sure it's between 105 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Add half a tablespoon of fine sea salt and one teaspoon of honey, then stir those together to dissolve. Sprinkle the top with half a teaspoon of active dry yeast and set it aside to proof for about five minutes. Meanwhile, fill a large mixing bowl with three and one third cups or 420 grams of all-purpose flour. Create a well in the center for pouring in the liquids. Give that yeast mixture a quick stir, then pour it over the flour. Use a firm spatula to stir until the wet and dry ingredients are combined. Next, knead the dough together by hand for about two minutes or just until no streaks of flour remain and the wet and dry ingredients are really well blended. The dough will feel pretty sticky to the hand that's kneading, but when you touch it with clean and dry fingertips, it should barely stick. Next, cover the dough tightly with plastic wrap to make sure a film doesn't form on the dough and let it rise at room temperature for about four to five hours or until it has doubled in size. It can rise a little faster in a warmer spot, but make sure it never goes above 110 degrees Fahrenheit while proofing the dough or you can deactivate and kill the yeast. Once the dough has doubled in size, generously sprinkle your worktop with flour and scrape the dough out onto the floured surface. And I love using this flexible food scraper because it makes sure I get every bit of dough out of the bowl. And I will link to this and all of our favorite tools for making pizza dough in the notes. Lightly flour and turn the dough so it's not sticking to your hands, then divide it equally in half. This recipe makes two 10 to 12 inch pizza crusts, so try to get them as even as you can. Now we're going to fold each piece of dough eight times. Wrap your hands around the dough and fold the edges into the center. Turn the dough and repeat until you've folded it eight times. It's a little bit like closing a book. And this is a gentle fold. Make sure you're not squeezing the dough and keep your hands lightly floured so the dough doesn't stick to your hands. With the last fold, seal the edges at the bottom and form a ball of dough. Place that with the seam side down. This is really easy, feels therapeutic, and I think you'll love it. Also, it's important to make the gluten threads in the dough stronger and to trap the carbon dioxide that's created by the yeast to create those beautiful bubbles that everyone loves in pizza dough. Transfer each piece of dough to a lightly oiled bowl I'm just using a simple light olive oil here. It doesn't add any flavor. The oil just helps the dough to release easier later. Transfer the dough to the bowl with the seam side down. And you're gonna cover that tightly with plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least 24 hours and up to five days. This is called the cold fermentation stage and it's really important to create those beautiful bubbles and it really develops the flavor in the dough. This is how fancy pizza places make their dough. It's so easy and truly a make-ahead recipe. We have some dough here that has been proofing overnight. About an hour before you're ready to use it, pull that out of the refrigerator so it can come to room temperature. And a few minutes before you start making your pizza, you wanna preheat your oven with a pizza stone in the center of the oven to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. You wanna make sure the oven is fully preheated before you start forming your pizza. Transfer that room temperature dough onto a well-floured work surface, lightly dust the top, and start forming your dough. 
Start by gently pushing in the center of your dough with your fingertips. Now lift the dough and make sure there's enough flour on it so that it's not sticking to your hands. To form the pizza crust, roll the dough over your knuckles. I've created two fists and I'm just working around in a circle, leaving about a one inch crust. You want it thicker at the edges. This will make a 10 to 12 inch pizza and keep in mind it'll shrink back slightly so make it a little bit bigger than you think. Place the dough on a floured pizza peel. You'll notice the big bubbles that have formed in the crust. Make sure you don't pop them. You want them there and they will make your pizza look professional. Give the pizza dough a little shake on the pizza peel to make sure it's not sticking. You don't want it to stick to the peel while you're transferring it into the hot oven. Our pizza crust is formed and we're ready for some toppings. If you love red pizza sauce, I have a recipe for the best homemade red sauce on my blog and I will link to it in the notes. I also have a recipe for a creamy white Alfredo pizza sauce. This is our kids' favorite and the one they request the most often. I'll share links to both of these recipes. They are so easy, delicious, and take just five minutes to make. We're just gonna make a cheese pizza because that is the one my kids love the most. So sprinkle on a generous amount of shredded mozzarella cheese. And I would love to hear about your favorite pizza toppings in the comments. Just before the pizza goes into the hot oven, I like to give it a quick shake to make sure it's not sticking. Then transfer it to the hot pizza stone and bake at 550 degrees Fahrenheit for eight to 10 minutes. When it's done, the edges will be puffed and golden brown and the cheese will be bubbling. Transfer the pizza to a cutting board and let it cool slightly before serving. If you don't already have one, a pizza making kit makes this process so much easier and I will link to ours in the notes. <laughs> it is pizza time. Oh, and look at that crust. It is gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna jump right into this because the cheese is melty, the crust is crisp, and I am so hungry. <laughs> also, the kids are probably gonna smell this soon, and then taste test is over. <laughs> so we're gonna jump right into this. Oh, listen to this crunch. course, a cheese pull. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. Yum. And this is the perfect crust. It's a thin crust in the center, and then the outside rim just puffs up so beautifully. And the texture, I'm telling you guys, it's so good. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That homemade white pizza sauce is everything too. <laughs> Make sure you try that recipe, it is super easy. Oh, you can really taste a little bit of garlic and Parmesan in the sauce, delicious. And then I'm gonna get a, a bite of this crust because look at the texture there. Look at that, that is amazing. Mmm. This seriously tastes like it just came out of a high-end pizza place. <laughs> so good. <laughs> it is crisp and chewy and then baked to perfection. Cooking it on high heat like that crisps up the crust perfectly. And I love that this is a make-ahead recipe so you can make balls of dough in the fridge. It just gets better with time. It tastes better and better as it rests. All right, the kids smelled the pizza and they want in on this taste test. We're gonna cut some big pieces for you. Da, da, da. Who gets the big one? Who gets, oh, David gets the big one. Okay, what do you think? Got it. Yeah? The best. The best. Who makes the best pizza? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, and I think dad wants one too, right dad? <laughs> I'll bring Hold on, watch your fingers, watch your fingers. I'll bring it to him. Hold on. Move those fingers. There, that's your cheesy part. I get the crust. It's my favorite part. My beard. It starts to taste like a baguette, doesn't it? It's so good. Look at my beard. Look at my beard. All right. 
So that's a wrap. <laughs> I hope you guys love this. I hope it becomes a family favorite for you. We'll see you in our next video. Wave, wave bye. Bye bye. Oh, great.